One of the best books upon blockchain revolution states that blockchain is basically based upon traceability and trustless protocol. So how do you define blockchain to a novice? How do you find whether this is a correct use case of blockchain or not? So in order to do that, we will use a simple formula which is known as atomic assets, trustless ownership, money, identity and smart contracts. Now what are all these things? Blockchain can be used for tracing of assets. Now what if I say that blockchain can be used for tracing diamonds? Next thing is blockchain can be used for establishing a trustless protocol. Now what do I mean by that? Web 1.0 was about static websites. Web 2.0 was about social media. Websites like Facebook, websites like Snapchat, websites like LinkedIn. Web 3.0 will be based upon decentralization. And already an army of developers working on the Ethereum platform are building the great Web 3.0. So what if I say that your LinkedIn can get converted into something which is a web 3.0 version of LinkedIn. What if I right now change my LinkedIn account, make myself the new CEO of Google or might be the new CEO of Vazirx. I am doing it wrong. But how do we verify it? So LinkedIn will accept this thing. Whereas when it comes to web 3.0, there will be proper digital signature of the company's HR as well as company's owner upon the credentials that I upload on my recruiter profile or on my job portal profile. This is known as a trustless protocol and blockchain is used very much for this trustless protocol establishment as well as traceability. The third use case is ownership. Can I track ownership of my assets? Can I track ownership of the real estate assets that I am owning? If I go to a place where there is a real estate land, can I trace who this long land belongs to previously? This has been implemented in Andhra. When you go to Andhra Pradesh, especially Amravati, the city, it is known as the blockchain city. So when you go to Amravati, they have made all the land records on blockchain. So that is tracing ownerships. Similarly, money. Bitcoin is a use case where which is a P2P money transfer use case in blockchain. I is for identity. Next is the sixth one is smart contract. So what do I mean by smart contract? Imagine that you are going in a flight. You realize that you couldn't reach on time. Do they cooperate with you? Unfortunately, no. If you have not reached within 45 minutes of that for a domestic flight, you will not be able to board that flight. What if the airline is late by 30 minutes? What will happen? You will not get any refunds. And you will have to stand in a queue and literally fight with the flight attendants or call them and report it to them. What if I say that if your flight is 30 minutes late, you will get 30% refund back. Yes, I am very serious. How do we do it? We will use the concept of smart contract. We will have a contract in between us and the airlines in such a way that we will write all the conditions in case the passenger is not able to reach on time. You can stop them from boarding the flight. But if the passenger is on time and flight is late by more than 30 minutes, you can directly deposit money into the passenger's account. You have to do that. This is a contract which can be made and that contract can be made live on blockchain. Yes, that is the magic. You can establish a trustless protocol. Now signature of both the parties with digital signature will be signed on that contract and this will get executed as soon as either the flight is delayed or the passenger is delayed. This is known as smart contract. We will have all the accounts from different different customers on blockchain and the airlines account also on blockchain. Money transfer can happen very quickly. I am not joking but this is already in production and it is known as e which is again a web 3.0 decentralized application.
Now this was something which was built on the Ethereum blockchain. What if I say all these things are using the concept of ERC20 tokens, which is a smart contract protocol to be followed to implement tokens. Okay. And later encash that tokens into real money. What if I say that there is another type of token, which is known as the ERC741 token and also another one, which is known as ERC1165 tokens. These tokens help artists to generate revenues out of their art. Yes, I'm very serious. And this time the tokens that I'm talking about is not a fungible one. It is known as a non fungible token. When it comes to buying off any commodity or when it comes to buying off any cryptocurrency, all cryptocurrencies are same. Like all Indian rupee notes are same. Similarly, all cryptocurrencies, let's say somebody is buying either. So one either for you is equal to one either of for me. Right? So this is known as they are exactly identical. But when it comes to non fungible token, they are not, they are different. Imagine that you are going to pick up your son or your daughter or your sister or your brother, his or her school. Imagine that there are so many students standing outside the school. How difficult it is to identify your kid or all the kids are same. As they say, every child is different and every child is special. Do you think that even though all the students are wearing the school uniform, are they all same? No, they are not. And you will be able to identify your kid or your relative very easily because you know him and he is the different one. So this is known as a non fungible token. This is how I can basically explain non fungible token in simple language. All the tokens are different. But how do we figure out what is a correct blockchain use case? Is there a generic formula? Yes, I can help you out with that. So the generic formula for this is ATOMIC. A T O M I C. Let's discuss the expansion. A is for assets tracking. Yes, you can track assets upon blockchain. So Everledger is one of the use cases where IBM has prepared a framework to track diamonds on blockchain. Yes, it is very much possible. The link we will give you in the description. Trustless protocol. T is for trustless protocol. T means trustless protocol to establish trust amongst the users such a way that there is the next level of traceability and they do not have to worry about trusting the application. How do I expand upon it? I can explain it to you with the help of web 3.0. Now what is web 3.0? So I will explain it from web 1, web 2 and web 3. Web 1.0 was about static websites. Web 2.0 was about web applications consisting of websites like Facebook, LinkedIn, Snapchat, where there was social media interaction. The next Web 3.0 is about decentralization. Can you establish a trustless protocol in between the user and the application? Yes, it is very much possible. So I will give you a simple use case. Once you go to LinkedIn and you add your professional experience, what if you add yourself as the new CEO of Google? Will it allow you or not? I want you to check this out. And yes, your guess is correct. It should not allow, but unfortunately it does allow. What do I mean by that? So LinkedIn is not validating whether you are the real CEO of Google or not. That is the reason 30% of the people fake their credentials on job portals. What if I say that only and only verified job experiences are listed on LinkedIn. In that case, to list only validated job credentials, Springroll has come up with a solution to establish a trustless protocol. They will invite all the employers on the LinkedIn platform to sign the record uploaded by each and every individual. Once they see the record and only and only if it is correct, they will sign it and the sign will turn green. This is known as digitally signed job credentials. When your employer or a person from human resources department is validating that you are a part of that company, 
that means really you have worked in that company and you are not faking it yes so this is how a trustless protocol can be established the next thing is ownership now how do i track ownership ownership of a car which was bought by somebody how old is that car who was the owner of that car like before one year what is all this tracking ownership of that car ownership of a land can i track who is the owner of that land so andhra government has come up with another framework in which you can just give latitudes and longitudes of the city in which you want to buy the house they have done it for the amravati which is the capital state of andhra, andhra pradesh What they have to do is you just have to include latitudes and longitudes and it will give you entire traceability of who this land belongs to in the last 10 years and they have uploaded data up to almost last 100 to 150 years as well so that is one of the agenda that they have so imagine the next level of traceability for the ownership of land which can be traced next use case is money can we have peer to peer money transfer and that's what satoshi did in 2008 he came up with bitcoins and with the help of bitcoins i can send money to somebody in the us as if i am sending an email or a whatsapp message yes it is as fast as that the next use case is identity so when it comes to identity we have another company which is known as travel db this company is owned by ibm they have made a single qr code linked to identity of a person imagine that you are going for a vacation with your family how many documents do you want to store if you are going to foreign you will have to store flight tickets you will have to store visas you will have to store passports what if i say that a single qr code can contain everything all your identities if you are going to europe and if you are traveling in paris if you are traveling the entire europe via trams it is very much possible you just have to show a single qr code because as soon as that qr code is scanned and the blockchain gets open i can see who is this person along with all the details mapped to a single qr code yes it is very much possible and it is very much you being used the next thing is what if i say degree certificates can be uploaded on blockchain all the mooc mwc courses certificates can be uploaded on blockchain yes it is already happening ibm has come up with a learning provider website which is known as cognitive services all the courses that you are learning on that website the generated certificates can be uploaded on blockchain yes it is already happening a college in mumbai who is known as nmims college for mba has uploaded all their students degree certificates of mba final year to the blockchain yes the maharashtra government right now is using block.dmrr website to track all the covid reports on blockchain by generating unique hash for every participant or every candidate who is showing the report for covid as soon as you scan your qr code it will redirect you to the block.maharashtra online blockchain website and you can verify whether this report is positive or negative yes it is very much good for tracing identities and the final use case is about smart contracts the sixth one that is c which stands for smart contract what do i mean by smart contract yes this is what you have exactly understood the contract has become smarter so what do i mean by smarter the contracts which we have seen till now is a contract in between two parties and they are signing upon certain conditions that both of them are agreeing to a contract is between a person who is selling the land and a person who is in buying the land similarly there is a contract when you are traveling for let's say a flight yes there are contracts each and every time there are terms and conditions every time which have to be signed from the seller and the buyer client and the service provider so or it might be a contract in between two brothers who are sharing some land yes so there are contracts every time what if i say that these contracts can be taken to blockchain since blockchain is traceable it is providing trustless protocol it is immutable it is append only ledger means you can only append things to blockchain 
it is like life you can only append things you cannot edit things what you have where you have done so if blockchain is providing us so many things what if i add a programming angle into this so that's what ethereum did vitalik buterin who is the founder of ethereum decided that bitcoin is providing really good things really good functionalities what if he can add a programming angle into it and can create decentralized applications out of it yes and that's where smart contracts came in bitcoin was not a programmable currency or i would say programmable cryptocurrency whereas ethereum is a programmable cryptocurrency yes you can write your own codes and it can solve problems of various industrial sectors so from finance to pharma to healthcare to uh, automobile everywhere right now blockchain is being used due to this factor of atomic now when it comes to smart contract i'll give you a very small example imagine that you are going in a flight what if you do not reach on time do they allow you if you have reached mm, like more than an hour late or you were not able to reach within an hour of time from your flight boarding they will not allow you what if i say they are late do they give you refunds unfortunately no what if i say that if the flight is delayed more than 30 minutes automatically 30% of the refund comes to your account yes i am not joking i am not kidding i am very serious this time you will get refund for the money that you can claim for your time being wasted yes there can be a digital contract in between you and the airline stating that if you are not able to reach at the airport within an hour of boarding you will not be allowed to board if the airline is late for more than 30 minutes you will get 30% of the refund if the airline is late more than an hour you get 50% of the refund if the airline is late more than 90 minutes of time you are traveling for free yes some airlines are doing it in the europe in the us and this website is known as edrisk so we'll discuss all these things in decentralized applications i have just given a brief overview of what is atomic now if blockchain can be used and programming can be customized to solve so many industrial use cases what if i say that blockchain can also help artists these days to get royalties for their work i am very serious about this not only artists it might be musicians it might be lawyers it might be academicians it might be researchers it might be anybody who is creating something original yes you have heard it correct and you are guessing it correct as well i am talking about non fungible tokens so by the way what is the difference in between fungible tokens and non fungible tokens so when it comes to smart contracts vitalik started ethereum and ethereum is a protocol ether is the cryptocurrency by using ethers and by customizing smart contracts you can make new tokens but those tokens follow a standard protocol which is known as erc20 and these pro- tokens are exactly similar to one another so a token of one type being generated another token which is generated from the same contract are equally fungible what do i mean by fungible your 10 rupee note in indian currency and another 10 rupee note in indian currency do you think they have different values or they have exactly same value they are exactly identical of one another yes i am talking about non fungible token so when vitalik started ethereum ethereum was a protocol but actual currency that is being used is ether now similarly bitcoin also got started and you know that satoshi gave it btc what if i say two bitcoins both of them is there anything difference in between them no they are exactly identical if they are belonging to the same bitcoin family similarly two ethers generated from the same contract customized one or token which are generated from the same contract are having exact identities right they belong to the erc20 protocol of standards they might be tokens as well but they are not fungible they are different from one another imagine that a person who is very good with statistics writes a book about statistics in english what if he has written that book and he has published it on amazon for let's say 250 rupees 
what if i go to him buy the book from amazon itself and i start converting it into hindi or might be gujarati or punjabi and i start selling that book at almost double the price by just converting it just tell me one thing to that 250 rupees of book does that include my work of converting english literature whatever has been written to hindi and selling it again am i doing justice with the person who has created that original book no yes you have very well understood it i owe him some royalty so what if i say that non fungible tokens will be able to track all these things so you must have seen that why are so many people buying these small gif images over the internet and they are claiming ke my image i have bought this image for so many thousand dollars or so many hundred dollars or might be million dollars as well sometimes why are they doing it because nfts are license in which the artist is giving you rights to sell his work to customize his work and to sell it further or it is a type of permission that you can make money out of that existing art and since it is a token which is being tracked on blockchain artist will automatically get revenue out of it let's see some good use cases nfts are licenses given by artists which say that now you can either use that work or you can customize that art and also start making money out of it so since they are linked via blockchain and also they are linked via smart contract based upon erc721 protocol or erc1165 protocol automatically they get tracked and artist gets paid for his work automatically without being worried over how many tokens or how many items are being sold yes so there are different different use cases of nft Let's see them one by one. So you must have heard about the news when in 2009 Vijay Mallya bought Gandhi ji's spectacles for 1.8 million dollars. Yes, it is rupees 9.3 crores in Indian currency back then. Now, what if I say that why will somebody buy some old spectacles from Gandhi ji? or from his collection to just keep with him only an artist real admirer or fan as they call it or real follower understands the value of his art vijay malya bought this because he was impressed with what gandhi ji did all of us are impressed but he wanted to appreciate gandhi ji's work and that is the reason he even though in that auction he bought those spectacles for 1.8 million dollars yes so what if i say that many things can be bought auction decentrally by using non fungible tokens yes i am very serious up this time as well an artist can upload his or her work on websites or web 3.0 and get royalty for his work he can also get his work auctioned he can also establish partial ownerships yes let us see all these use cases one by one i am sure you might have heard about the movie shole yes those great songs by this great director what a beautiful art of the bollywood industry there were great actors back then including amjad khan saab amitabh bachchan saab dharmender ji hema malini ji ak hangal saab do you know almost ak hangal died due to bankruptcy one or another lady of bollywood industry parveen babu ji died due to bankruptcy they were great actors yes kamal hasan faced bankruptcy couple of times in his career what if i say even michael jackson faced bankruptcy at some point of time in his career they all were great artists they all were very good with their work what led to ak hangal's demise even though being a great actor shole is still making money when streamed on youtube or netflix or amazon prime different different places what if i say that only the production house or the ott platforms or 
the web applications are making money out of it yes that is correct artist is not able to make money out of the work that he has done very well what if i say that out of the transactions or out of the money that is being paid to different different platforms or different different production houses out of that some percent it might be 2% it might be 3% as a smart contract can be deployed to these actors who have done great work and they get royalty for their work yes i am very serious and this is very much possible there are platforms there are non fungible tokens which can help them out even though shole has performed exceptionally well across different different ott platforms or web websites like youtube still trailers or still the comedy scenes of shole or still those iconic scenes by all the actors are appreciated still i can say the actors are not making money for their work it is the production houses and the web applications who are making the real money what if i say that for the great work of all these great actors they get paid for the work that they have done as royalties and that can be taken very well by non fungible tokens so right now as you might have seen last year amita bachan saab launched his own non fungible tokens which was by the beyond life club all the images of amita bachan including the best of the posters from shole some small clips of his great work in the bollywood industry was portrayed and it was later auctioned for on the beyond life club and people have bought these non fungible tokens and the auction went up to 7.2 crore rupees i am very serious this time as well another use case of non fungible tokens is partial ownership let us talk about mona lisa which is a great portrait by leonardo da vinci it is so well painted that it is still one of the most famous visited art in the history now what if i say that i want to own 1 by 1000th part of mona lisa i might not be able to buy that big painting for millions of dollars but i can get 1 by 1000th or 1 by 10000th part of that such that it satisfies as a fan of leonardo da vinci it will satisfy me yes i could appreciate somebody who i really get inspiration from this is known as non fungible token this is known as if i can buy 1 by 1000th or 1 by 10000th part of mona lisa i own some part of that painting if i am able to financially appreciate somebody whose art has inspired me that gives me the next level of satisfaction and that is very much possible by using non fungible tokens implementing partial ownerships another example of partial ownership is implemented in the real estate sector imagine that we have a building which is in dubai and which is very similar to burj khalifa you missed a chance to get some part of burj khalifa last time everybody has a dream to live at such a great place what if i say that you can get a, the new building which is being constructed you can get some part of that and also as we know that is going to be a prime location you can sell your part later i am not talking about buying an entire house i am talking about buying some part of that house or some part of that land which is a very prime location and can be sold later yes partial ownerships are possible in real estate assets as well if you want you can own it and be satisfied if you want later you can sell it and get some good returns out of it yes very much possible this time also non fungible token help us out in implementing this this is how nfts help us implement partial ownerships in the real estate sector everybody has some great affection towards sports and i know that in india cricket is one of the top sports whether it is cricket whether it is basketball or it is athletics everywhere there are sports person whose work inspires us a lot for basketball it might be michael jordan it might be jim kelly it might be kevin durant yes all three were great basketball stars what if i say that kevin durant's all the dunks or kevin durant's three pointers all of them can be stored 
in a repository and as a sports follower you want to appreciate them because those shots applied in a match in the form of an assist or in the form of a basket gave you lot of inspiration in your life or might be you want to appreciate your favorite sports person by buying those non fungible tokens yes it is very much possible nba top shot is another marketplace for selling of non fungible tokens as well as buying of non fungible tokens relating to the game of basketball all the hardcore most amazing shots played during the game of basketball in the history have been recorded and been stored as a repository in the form of non fungible tokens kevin durant's best of the assists best of the dunks best of the three pointers by different different players have been stored you can appreciate these players get their nfts and prove that you really respect their art if you want later you can sell them as well this is how an artist or a basketball player as well can make good money out of this so nft has another use case in sports many other sports person have launched their nfts lionel messi the center forward from the football club barcelona playing from argentina yes he is also one of them who have launched their own non fungible tokens imagine that you are playing a game and you have reached at a certain good level now once you have some good points in that game how do you reuse them can you reuse them in some other game or can you and cash them somewhere financially to buy something or to gain something out of it yes you guessed it right this time also the points of your game can be converted into non fungible tokens which can later be encashed to get some advantage it might be let us say that you have won a gun in one of the levels of your game what if i say that that gun can be converted into nft and later be used in some other game to bring in some really good weapon yes this is another use case of nft in the gaming industry ethereum was founded by gavin wood and vitalik buterin what was actually gavin wood's main contribution towards ethereum it might be architecture it might be internals it might be the smooth functioning but one of the most acknowledged and one of the most important contribution of gavin wood towards the ethereum ecosystem was metamask yes metamask is a wallet which is a decentralized wallet which helps you to get connected to blockchain instantly i want to start this conversation with a very small question can you tell me how much time does it take to open a bank account yes you heard me correct i am asking how much time does it taken to open a bank account so somebody will tell me nowadays it, it is available within a couple of hours due to technology is coming in how much time will it take to open a paytm or a paypal wallet for paypal it might take you some time for verification it might go up to 3 working days as well now what if i say that when it comes to blockchain or especially opening an account on ethereum first of all it is absolutely for free and you are not going to show any identity of yours like you showed in banks it is going to be fast as fast as 5 seconds yes you heard me correct there are some formalities to be done you will need to download some set of seed words once you have downloaded those seed words you will be able to verify your anonymous identity once you are done you will be able to open your account yes it is as simple as that so let us see a demo of this you need to open your metamask account now how, what is metamask exactly metamask is a wallet which is developed by consensus technologies yes it is a company which is working very well in the blockchain space let us see what is this and how do we take the maximum advantage out of this so first of all i want you to google about metamask as soon as you google the first website that comes to you is metamask it is having this symbol once we go to this website it states it is a crypto wallet gateway to blockchain apps yes it is a way such that you can connect to 
blockchain within some seconds yes i am absolutely serious so what you will do is you will go into the download section metamask is right now available for chrome it is available for firefox it is available for another blockchain based browser which is brave and edge as well so let us see how do we do it in chrome so i will select chrome and what you need to do is you have to go to chrome store and add it to your chrome browser since i have already added it it is giving me the remove option once you have added this successfully what you will do is you will make a new account into metamask let us see how do we make it so your account will get displayed over here in the right hand side of your browser once uh, you have this metamask over here you will be able to get connected to blockchain instantaneously yes i am very serious this time as well in order to sign up for metamask here are the step by step approach that you need to follow the first step that you need to do is you need to go to metamask wallet and it will ask you to import some seed words this approach is only for once you have signed up for the account if you are a fresh joiny or if you are doing this for the first time you need to actually follow the seed word approach because metamask is not asking you for your identity neither it is asking you for your aadhar card nor it is asking you for your pan card they will issue you an anonymous identity based upon a collection of words and this collection of words is known as seed word so what it is going to do is it is going to give you these collection of words in front of you you need to note these collection of words and once you know this collection you will have to store it because this is your key or it is a form of password from this collection of words you can import this account anywhere in the world if you have access to metamask now let us see what is the collection of words for me so these are some collection of words first of all i will highly recommend you to store it at a very safe place just copy these words and store it let's see what is the next step in the next step metamask is asking us to select the words in the order or select these words from a collection of entire set of words now let us match what are the correct words that we have and if they are possible in the available collection so these are the words which are matching with the available collection with me yes i am selecting them one by one as soon as i am done i will just submit it congratulations you were able to open your metamask account let us now see how do we create new non fungible tokens yes it's going to be a very very interesting journey so in order to instantly create non fungible tokens you will need to go to opensea.io as a website once you have come to opensea.io you will go to the create section once you have gone to the create section uh, you can see four choices these are four choices of the wallets that have to be connected so what now i will do is i will select metamask again you can see that automatically it gets connected to metamask it will just ask me for the password i am inserting my password going inside this i will get logged in to the open c website it is asking me to sign this transaction it's not a transaction it is asking me to sign in for connecting my metamask wallet with balance of 0.30 ethers belonging to account number 3 i am signing this you can see that i can create a new item over here i can create my own nfts so let's see i will upload now a photo of mine so this is a photo of mine in which i am receiving a memento i will give a name to this nft is nft for anubhav once i have done it i can link it to any other external website as well i can link it to let's say 
an Instagram page of mine, which is Instagram.com and I'm using my user handle. Once I've done it, I will provide a detailed description of this. Anubhav received this memento from European Chambers. After that, I will select if there is any collection option. You can also add properties, which means textual traits, levels, statistics. Yes, there are options for everything. If you want to add a character, yes, it is possible. So let's say uh, the type of character is an angry character or an avatar and I will call it Jarvis. I will save it. And after that, I will tell how much is the supply. And finally, I will make it live on Ethereum or Polygon blockchain. I have selected Polygon and I'm going to create this. Once I have created it, yes, I was able to create NFT for Anubhav. I can share it on Twitter, I can share it on Facebook, I can share it on Telegram, I can share it with a link. This procedure is as simple as that. Yes, you heard me correct. Now, once you have created the NFT for free, just by collecting it to your account, you can start selling it as well. Now let us see how do we buy NFTs on an NFT marketplace. Yes. So in this illustration, what we will do is we will go to the OpenSea website again. Once we go to the OpenSea website, we will be able to see all the NFTs which are open for sale. Okay. So this is Cyberpunk which is listed. There are overseers which are listed. I want to buy NFTs by Amitabh Bachchan ji, who is who is an actor in the Bollywood industry. Very famous actor, very legendary actor. You can see that I am on Amitabh Bachchan ji's profile and I am able to list almost nine things over here. Yes, there are nine things which are listed on his profile. Nine items. You can see this is his look from different different movies. So this was a very famous movie from Amitabh Bachchan who is, which is known as Dawn. I will be clicking upon this non-fungible token and I can buy it. Yes, I want to appreciate this legendary actor for his work and this work will cost me approximately $266. I will buy this NFT art by first of all verifying it. Yes, OpenSea has not done any verification. But how is OpenSea saying this? OpenSea is saying this, that creator is Amitabh Bachchan and the Twitter profile for this creator is given over here along with the Instagram profile. So let us verify whether this amount will be directly going to Amitabh Bachchan ji or somebody is like conning us. So you can see that yes, this Twitter account belongs to Amitabh Bachchan because it is having 47 million followers. Also, this Instagram profile is linked to Amitabh Bachchan. It is an original profile with a blue tick. Yes, and it also has approximately 30 million followers. So, we have verified that this is correct. Now, how do we buy it? So, again, MetaMask is your best friend. We will select upon this. We will select buy now. Once I have done it, I will say I understand this. Once I have understood this, I am checking this box and I am confirming the checkout. Once I confirm the checkout, it will get connected to my Ethereum. I can start buying this. You can see MetaMask has got open. I can confirm this transaction and we will be able to buy this NFT successfully just by confirming the transaction. This is how you can buy NFTs in your real life. Let us see how do we buy NFTs on the Wazirx platform. This is going to be really very simple. What you need to do is just go to the Wazirx website. 
or you can just google wazirx nft so the website is nft.wazirx.org as soon as you are over here there is an option to select from the creators that you are looking for so these are different different creators so you can go into the creator section and these are all the creators who have made their non-fungible tokens I can s s like search for again Amitabh Bachchan yes now we will search for Amitabh Bachchan ji and once I have searched you can say I can get profile of Amitabh Bachchan NFT so we can see who is the creator for this so it is somebody who is a portrait artist you can look at his Instagram profile if you are looking for the type of work that he has created this is all the NFTs he has created Mahindra Singh Dhoni's NFTs for helicopter shot as well so you can see that it the price of this is 45.08 US dollars he has made NFTs for Bharat Natyam he has made NFTs for many other things for Cristiano Ronaldo as well when I go into this here is another profile of an NFT creator now let's say if, if I am interested in buying this if I am interested in buying an NFT for let's say this work of Malu Machan's special 1 by 3 what we can do is we can go search for or we can view what is the authenticity of this I can see what is the smart contract address yes Wazir X is making this 100% transparent and who are the people who have bought this once I have done I can see this entire thing on the interplanetary file system as well once I have seen both the things and I have verified it properly next thing is to buy or sell these NFTs so what we will do is I will connect to again the metamask wallet you can see that on the Wazirx as well we are getting connected to metamask on the ethereum mainnet once we have done it it is internally getting switched to the Binance Smart Chain Network we are going to sign it to enter into the NFT marketplace now since our profile is new we need to sign up for this let us say I give this a new name AC Anubhav display name is AC Anubhav NFT I will give my email ID let's say consult anubhav at the rate gmail.com there is no referral code so it can be left as a blank once I have registered for this Metamask will ask me again for confirming my identity yes I have successfully created my account now I can go and start let's say buying another NFT which is from Rajnika like which is based upon the actor Rajnikanth who is a superstar I am going to place it a bit right these are the four options with us so there are options of placing the bid making an offer now we will see how do we buy an NFT I am going to this Mr. Bean's NFT I can again place a bid proceed to bid and it is going to charge me 8 Wazirx token WRX again a wrapped cryptocurrency once it comes to 7.34 US dollars it says you do not have enough balance so let us see what is the balance that I am having in this metamask right now it is 0 BNBs 
what you need to do is you need to convert your money into Binance tokens after that once you have balance over here you will be able to buy these NFTs that was a great demo we learned how to buy NFTs we also learned how to sell NFTs now we will see how to create NFTs on the Wazirx platform what we will do is we will follow how do we make a creator profile let us see the procedure step by step you can go to this link by Wazirx on the nft.wazirx.org and go into create once you click upon the create button you will get a google form now what is this google form this is a google form which is asking for your email address also it is showing how to create an nft account on marketplace if you do not have it we have seen it in the previous video how by connecting metamask and by giving the username and passwords how we can create the nft account on wazirx once you have done it you need to create a nft marketplace creator profile you can create it by uploading your profile pic your cover pic your social media links once you have done it these are the six conditions which have to be filled which includes cover pic profile pic name instagram profile facebook profile twitter and description of yours once you have done it in order to prove your authenticity there will be a small verification how you will have to tweet about wazirx nft yes up from your twitter handle once you have done it wazirx expects you to make a 30 to 60 seconds of video to authenticate your identity as a creator till now we have seen the procedure which is required to create a creator profile on wazirx we have seen till now how do we create a profile step by step how wazirx is expecting us to make our profile with a profile pic cover pic name and all the listed things once then we will have to tweet to show the authenticity on our profile tagging wazirx nft after that we have to upload a 30 to 60 seconds video about ourselves why do we wish to be an nft creator and your experience as a creator till now if this youtube video is also genuine then you will be associated with wazirx as one of the nft creator on their nft marketplace profile to buy and sell nfts on wazirx platform we have seen the procedure to become creator on the nft marketplace let us see now how do we buy nfts on the nft marketplace so what has to be done is we will go to the nft marketplace and select one of the nfts the one that i have selected is from mr bean and you can see this is a gif image it is expecting us to have wrx wazirx tokens with us so for this we will need to convert the bnb tokens that we have into wazirx tokens it is expecting us to have wazirx tokens now what we need to do is we need to add wazirx tokens to metamask so for that in case you have ethers or let us say you might have binance tokens binance smart to chain tokens to convert binance smart chain tokens to wazirx we will follow the shown procedure what we will do is we will go into binance website and convert binance coins to wrx you can see that we have gone into wrx we clicked upon withdraw and we converted the existing binance coins to wazirx by selecting the network for me it is binance smart chain network it is the binance smart chain network once done and the transactions come to the next limit we will convert them into wazirx yes to convert to wazirx what we will do is 
we will go into the binance website and convert from binance to wrx by selecting the network let us say we withdraw three wrx tokens we confirm it and we continue once we continue it will get the verification code on email and we will submit it once we have done it we will receive wrx tokens in our metamask wallet now it will not be done automatically but what we will do is we will just go into metamask and add tokens as soon as we add tokens we will select the contract address right once we select the contract address automatically wrx will get detected and you will see some tokens reflecting into your wazirx yes wazirx account in the metamask wallet right once you have the wazirx wrx tokens in your metamask wallet you can start buying nfts on the wazirx nft marketplace hope you have learnt end to end nfts in this module we have covered the basics of nfts we have covered why do we need nfts we have covered the case studies of nfts along with that we have also covered how to buy and sell nfts on opensea we have also seen how to do it on wazirx we have seen what are the formalities that a creator needs to do to make a profile on wazirx we have seen nfts by one of the top content creators in the world i hope you use this knowledge to create your own nfts or trade into nfts
स्टार्टिंग में थोड़ा सा गैप था वो स्टार्टिंग में मतलब आपको लगता था कंप्रेसर से तो ये लोग सीधे बाहर जाते हैं और वो वो प्रेजेंट लाइक थर्टी के बाद में बुलाएंगे साथ में लेकिन तुम लोग वो शूट करने के लिए ना टीम की प्रतीक सर के बैठो गए मैं हाथ पर पीछे लेने जाएंगे और प्रतीक मेरे को आर्टिकल का सर पहले भी देगा सर तो उनका पहले जस्ट कम मैं तीनों दो 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 अलग खत्म थी गई 